Okay, so here's a test we've all been waiting to see. Um, going to check out loading Engadget.com on uh, an iPhone 3G uh, on AT&T's network, not on Wi-Fi, and on the pre on Sprint's network, uh, also not on Wi-Fi. Both caches have been cleared. So uh, let me just grab this here and let's see if I can get these right at the same time. Okay. So pre got that initial page loaded up pretty fast. Um, and it's looking really close to being done, actually. Uh, neither one of them is too shabby, but you can see there's a lot more content loaded on the pre right now. Um, the sidebar and stuff. And uh, it looks like it's almost about finished. Uh, the iPhone is still loading up a few pieces. And there we go. So uh, still loading. So there we go. So the um, and I've done this test before. Also, uh, you can see the pre is fairly snappy. Um, and then let's just take a look really quickly at the scrolling. So you can get an idea. Uh, whoops, that was a gesture. So pretty smooth scrolling. Um, the double tap to zoom is extremely similar to the iPhone. Uh, as you can see, let's take a look here. I mean, almost exactly the same. I actually find you can see a lot more content on the pre, um, but uh, it's like they're doing something a little bit different with the, the font kerning. Um, at any rate, there you go. Uh, there is a browser test for you.